Right to get out and you'll find a brand new option in West Dallas. Our Madeline O'Neill joins us live now to explain that it took a lot of blood, sweat and beers for this new space to come together. Exactly. Yeah, it's busy out here tonight. An Oak Brewing Company here in West Dallas has only been open for a week, but they already have big plans for the future. You can see here there's some cornhole games out here, but they really plan to expand, adding a lot more of those volleyball court an outdoor bar and more seating. And now before all of this became a reality, it was just a few local guys dream. I didn't know if it was Opie, Op, Ope. Some people don't quite understand it. But for the most part, people love it. From the name. But yeah, so now I know. Oh, oh, you drop something, oh, instead of oops, oh, right. Right down to the beers. We do a sour series called, called Ope Soury. Uh, I am drinking the Didn't See You There. Ope Brewing Company is raising the bar on Wisconsin wordplay. Phenomenal. I'm a Wisconsin kid through and through, so I'm definitely the Ope Soury, let me sneak past you and grab the ranch kind of kid. But the puns for a lot of the beers is fun. <laughs> Before the puns came a different type of conversation. The kind you have around a table of drinks with friends. Every home brewer, it, you know, drinks a beer and goes, well, I, I can do this. Actually doing this takes more than talk. We've all just live beer every day. Starting their own brewery. It was an idea bubbling beneath the surface for professional brewers Adam Anders and Kyle Siski for years. Though ideas flowed. We have a list. I have like over 300 beer name ideas. The pandemic added uncertainty to the mix. On the bank side of things, there sure was. They say 35 banks turned them down until the 36th gave them a shot. You got to bet on yourself. They and a third co-founder poured themselves into Oak Brewing. It's tasty. Fantastic. Now looking forward to crafting their own next chapter. It was that, you know, fulfilling a dream type of thing. Now you may know of Charlie Barron's. He really helped popularize the phrase Ope here in Wisconsin. Well, we asked owners if he stopped by yet. They say he hasn't, but if and when he does, the first drink will be on them. Live in West Dallas, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. This could be his call right now. Madeline, yeah. thank you. Exactly.